Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of Vinny's Vittles. This week we're making tortilla pie. Don't that sound good? I, I just saw this recipe. Of course, I docked it up for Vinny style, but I love the way this recipe looks and I think it's going to taste great, so we're going to try it out. Now, as always, you'll find the complete recipe and the complete description for what you need to make this in the description box down below. So let me tell you what we're going to be using today. We're going to start out with some uh, hamburger meat, some onions, some garlic, some Rotel, some ricotta cheese, some mozzarella cheese, a Kobe Jack mix. We're also going to be using some spices, the ground cumin and the chili powder. And then we're going to garnish it at the end with the cilantro and some sour cream. We're going to use the tortillas uh, to stack it up and make it good to go. How's that sound? Let's get started with it, all right? All right, guys, we're back. So now it's time to start making up the ingredients, all right? So we're going to start out. Got a little grease in the pan, get it good and hot, a little oil, actually. We're going to add in the garlic. I hear that sizzle. No, it's good. We're going to add the onion. Good night, that garlic smells good. That ought to be a crime right there. Wish I liked onion. <laughs> and then we're going to add in our hamburger meat. And you just want to make sure you just kind of fold it all in together and you're just going to brown the hamburger meat just like you do at the house all the time. All right, guys, so we've just about got the hamburger meat browned in good. I used a very lean uh, ground beef, so there's not a whole lot of grease here, but we're still going to drain it here in just a minute once we get it completely mixed in together just to make sure that we don't have any excess grease. I ain't a huge fan of extra fat. That's really not the way to say that. I kind of like that, but we're going to drain the grease anyway. That's getting real close. I'm gonna let it go just a little bit longer because I want, remember I don't like onion, so I want that onion to cook till it's good and soft. All right guys, we finished draining the meat. It's all good to go. Now we're gonna add in our spices. This is the uh, cumin and the chili powder. And we're gonna add in a can of Rotel that we drained, okay? So we drained all the juice off of it. Now we're going to combine these ingredients together. And just let that mix up good. I'm going to add a little bit of salt to taste. Not a whole lot. I'm going to add a little cracked pepper. Ooh, that is smelling like heaven right there. Can you smell it over there, Jordan? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, while that's combining, we're gonna go ahead and start to preheat our oven. We're gonna preheat it at 400 degrees. All right, and while that's simmering together, I'm gonna reduce the heat. And while that's simmering, we're gonna go ahead and mix our cheese together, all right? So we'll be right back and do that in just a second. All right, guys, we've got our meat mixture simmering over on the stove. We got the oven preheating, so now we're gonna start combining our cheese. And we're gonna take the ricotta cheese and the mozzarella cheese and mix it all together to make our centerpiece. And you just wanna kinda of stir it up good. If it doesn't combine good for you, you can always use your hands to do it, but it seems to be combining pretty good just with me using the spoon. That'll keep you from having to get too dirty. Now we took a nine inch baking pan and we greased it up good. You can use your favorite cooking spray or you can just use some butter or whatever, or a light coating of oil if you want to do it that way. And then you're going to take a tortilla and you're going to lay it in the bottom of the pan. Again, a nine inch pan. Now we're going to take half of the meat mixture and put it in here. So we're going to pull the meat off the stove and add it in. And I'm telling you, that smells some kind of good. And we're just gonna make a good little layer in there and 
try to get it as even as we can. A little more. Now, can y'all see how I did that? You see it okay? Now we added a little cilantro in the meat while it was cooking too to give it a little extra flavor. Now we're gonna take the second tortilla and just lay it right on top. And here's where we're gonna put our ricotta and mozzarella mix. And we're gonna put it on there just like an icing. And now we're gonna spread it around. Our oven is preheated. <laughs> And y'all know icing spreading is not my specialty, but I'm gonna try to do this just as good as I can. It's not quite as technical. And I'm trying to get it as even in there as I can and all the way out to the edge, all the way around. Now we're gonna come back, add the third tortilla, <laughs> and come back with some more of the rest of the meat mixture. Just like so. And we're gonna spread that. So we're just laying it in the pan, layering it in the pan. All right, we got a pretty even coat. Now we're gonna take the last tortilla and lay it on the top. So we got three layers. Now we're gonna come in with the Kobe Jack cheese mix and just kind of sprinkle it on the top. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. And we're gonna garnish with a little more cilantro. Just like that. Now, our oven's preheated, 400 degrees. We're gonna stick it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes and we'll be back with you in just a few. All right, guys, we're back. We sliced us up a piece of pie. I got Josh Ooh. here to taste it with me. We added just a little dollop of sour cream on the top. Somebody last week said that the white bean chicken chili needed a dollop of sour cream. So I thought, hey, a dollop of sour cream on this would be a good one. So you ready to taste it? Yeah, let's we'll see what great. it tastes like. Oh. I got a big chunk. It's gonna go everywhere. And I'm gonna get me a little bit of that sour cream to go in there with it. All right, you ready? Here yep. we go. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's good stuff. That might be the best thing we've ever made. I don't know, Jordan. Mm. It's mighty good right here. <laughs> oh my god. Don't worry, I'll, I'll give me a piece, don't worry. My. Yeah. All right, guys, you got to try this. Extremely simple, great recipe, tortilla pie. You'll want to do it. Now, as always, <laughs> as so always, good. there's a little red button at the bottom. We want you to click that and subscribe to Vinny's Vittles and ring that bell so you'll get notified every week when Vinny's Vittles is back, every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Central Time. We'll see you next time on Vinny's Vittles. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Boy, that is fire. <laughs> <laughs>